Oh, Cincinnati Raiders. Yeah, I, it, th- this was a spot where last week I was hoping the Raiders would bounce back, but after watching that game, um, their defense just continues to get worse and worse. Uh, and I don't know if the off-field, you, you know, between the coach and unfortunately, uh, you know, the player activity that they had with, with the players now um, getting in trouble. I don't know if that's taken its toll. Um, I, I, I got Cincinnati in this one. I, I think Cincinnati is probably the better team and they need to win more. I think going down the stretch than the Raiders. I don't want to say the Raiders threw a, you know, a throwing in a towel, but after last week and just kind of with everything that's happened, I just don't have very much faith in them, which, you know, I, I did in the, in the beginning of the season. I, I, I had high hopes for them, but unfortunately I don't think uh, it's going to pan out for them long-term. Look at this. The scores of these games. Cleveland last week, right, whacked them 41-16. Yep. Kansas City beat them 41-14. Kansas so City put up a ton of points score. for the first time, yep. All right, then, then the other one you said was the Green Bay game. Yeah, Green Bay game. Aaron Rodgers is back. Uh, another kind of Midwest rivalry there. You got Packers versus the Vikings, um, so that'll be good. But it, it, if you've been following the Packers and you look at their against the spread record for the year, it's phenomenal. Um, you know, if you've been betting every week, you've made a ton of money. I think they're getting one, one and a half. Um, so I feel comfortable playing that number. It's basically a pick them. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my money on Aaron Rodgers from here on out pretty much the rest of the year. Yeah, hard to argue with that. Yeah, you take, yeah, they, they have remember. some injury issues, I think, at the running back position, but I'm not too worried about well, that. He didn't, I, I, he have, didn't practice. I have faith in the defense. Yeah, I mean, he didn't yeah. he didn't play the first week, right? Because he didn't practice, right? Yeah, when they, when they got whacked, he, he didn't practice at all. He just played the game. He didn't practice. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Mean, that first game, the first Green Bay game, yeah, well, they, yeah. Never since then, they've they've all been w's. phenomenal. Yeah, all W. Yeah, all, 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 all W's, all wins again. Yeah, all yep. W's. Now I'm gonna give you a, a, another one on that game. <clears throat> How do you think you've done? If you started betting unders on the Green Bay Packer games. Now, Green Bay's right. You don't think it'll Aaron Rodgers and unders. Yeah, yeah. How Their defense has done phenomenally well. I mean, if you looked at the last couple games, they, they've held oh, teams down to 20 points. Seven and so that, that would be the trip. Yep, seven yep. And so that would be the trip. Seven games, the yeah. games have gone so under. kudos to Green Bay. Yeah. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers is a superstar and he gets all the talk and, and you would want to think that, but their defense is kind of why I lean on them regardless of who's playing on offense. But see, obviously if Aaron Rodgers is out, um, you know, I would kind of be skeptical about that, but as long as he's quarterbacking and he has, uh, you know, people to throw to and that defense is intact, I, I'll, I'll, I feel pretty confident with Green Bay, especially getting one, one and a half. Listen to these numbers, John. Seattle, they shut out, of course. First time he got shut out mm-hmm. in his career, right? 150 sun starts. Uh, week, yeah. Week before that, Kansas City, a oh, pretty good team, 13 points. 13 uh, points. Week before yep. that, Arizona, 21. Now, isn't Arizona probably right now the number one team in terms of uh, yeah. Super Bowl yeah. odds? Probably. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They came out. Sm- yeah, they came out too. One of the hottest teams in the that, NFC. 10, there. So. Week before that, 14, 22, 17, 7, uh, 8. Yeah. They're just. That's all under 20. Points. Yep. Yep, yep. Besides Arizona, a little, a little over. Yeah, yep. you're gonna do good if you don't give up points. All right, so oh yeah, our, yep, yeah. Well, that's. I mean, if you can hold these top teams, I mean, we're not talking bottom barrel teams here that they're playing. We're talking, you know, you're throwing Arizona, you're throwing KC, you're throwing Seattle, you're throwing top tier teams in here, and they've been able to hold these teams to under 20 points in an NFL game. That's pretty phenomenal when you think about all the trends and the and the overs and everything that's yeah, going on. If it if the teams are stinky teams, yeah, but I read you those names, yeah. right? Those, Those are exactly, are yeah, here. yeah, yeah, right, so yeah. You're talking about top caliber offenses and, and top tier names, so very impressive. Kudos to the Green Bay Packers.